Marcos here for FightHubTV.com, standing with Nick Mahatam, MMA fighter, local here to the OC area. Nick, how are you doing today? Fine, great. Made weight at 202. Cool, man. So uh, you have a fight tomorrow, that's right? Yes, sir, that's correct. Tell me a little bit more about this fight, your training, and your opponent. Um, fighting at um, Lords of Combat, UCI, Brand Event Center. Um, I started my training August 1st. Um, I'm fighting Ricardo Pancho Feliciano from Team Quest. He's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt from Sao Paulo, Brazil. He's stationed at Team Quest right now. He's a grappler. I've been working a lot on my stand-up. Um, I'm a brown belt myself in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, so I'm not really worried on the ground at all. I train with Alan Goez every single day on the ground, and I work my uh, striking separately, my strength and conditioning separately, so I'm very well prepared for this fight. Um, I came in four pounds underweight. I'm prepared. How is it training with Alan? How is Alan as a person? I know he's a, a legend in the MMA community. Well, that's my coach for the past 10 years, so he's like my brother, honestly. Uh, he's a character, I'll tell you that though right now. He's a character. Uh, he's a funny guy. Um, he shows me a lot of stuff that people don't know. I mean, this black belt is, he's a good fighter, but I roll with Alan every day and Alan's a world class. There's a big difference between good and world class, so it gives me a lot of confidence going into this fight, especially on the ground. What's like your favorite Alan Goes story that you can share with us? Oh wow, um, actually I have one for you. Two years ago, Valor Fight Night X. <laughs> He's like, we're in the back and he grabbed a bunch of waters for the fighters. He's like, hey, I won the fight and he filled the backpack up with, with waters. And as we walk out, the commission's all, hey, uh, we were gonna need those gloves back. And they open up my backpack and all these waters spill out. And Alon's standing next to me, and they look at me like I'm, I'm like stealing water, and I kind of go like this. I'm like pointing at him, like hey, he took it. <laughs> so yeah, Alon's funny, cracks me up. So what can we expect from you uh, tomorrow night, Friday at the Brent Events in Irvine? Knockout, first round, or technical knockout. Fists will be flying, knees, kicks, blood, violence, all that. So you like to equate yourself with a, a knockout fighter? Is that your style? Uh, I am a striker, yeah. I'm a ground guy, but um, I'm a striker. I'm very well-rounded, I'd say. So I'm prepared to go anywhere. Future-wise, what would you like to accomplish in your MMA career? Uh, I just want to go fight in the UFC or Strike Force, one of the two. Um, trying to fight for Maximum Fighting Championship in Canada as well. Just kind of take a step up in orga the organizations. I already fought for Bellator, so I fought in a big stage before, but I would like to do that again some more. Do you think Brock Lesnar is the best heavyweight in the world right now? No. Who do you think is the best heavyweight? <sighs> I take that back. <laughs> Brock Lesnar is the best heavyweight right now. I don't see, I don't see Verdum even be beating Lesnar right now. Lesnar's too big, too strong for anybody right now to handle. All right, Nick. Well, thank you very much, and can't wait to see you fight tomorrow night. Any last words you'd like to leave off with? See you guys at Lords of Combat tomorrow night. Bernie Event Center, UCI.